Renee, former AEW champion, is ready to return, but first, Seth Rollins has taken more shots at CM Punk. WWE would head to State College, Pennsylvania for their latest untelevised live event last night, where World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins once again defeated Shinsuke Nakamura to keep hold of his title, this for the fifth time last week. Following the win, the visionary would take to the mic to address the crowd, this before CM Punk chants erupted, leading to Rollins' attempt to shut them down. Seth would once again cut a scathing promo on the self-proclaimed best in the world, calling for the fans to sing his song instead and here's what he had to say. I really don't feel like talking about that bum tonight. Instead, I'd like to take a second to express my gratitude to each and every one of you guys. From all of us in the back, everyone in WWE, we just want to say thank you, happy holidays, we'll see you guys next time, we love you. Now do me one favour, you've been singing my song so beautifully all night long, let them know in the state college who the real best in the world is. Whilst the second city saint wasn't in attendance at the live event to respond, he would be booked to appear on the NXT Deadline pay-per-view the night before, this after he apparently missed his flight home from Connecticut. Punk would show up during the opening segment of the show alongside NXT creative leader Shawn Michaels, donning a pink Bret Hart hoodie before the top free agent teased that he may be signing for the NXT brand. The decision as to which brand he was signed for will be announced tonight on Raw, although the black and gold brand is probably the least likely option to say the least. As for a backstage update, according to Fightful Select, CM Punk appeared very happy backstage at NXT, adding that there were many excited to have him there. House of Wrestling would add that Triple H was also at the show and Punk's interactions with the WWE CCO were described as legit very good. Those that they spoke too close to Punk added how happy he is right now in WWE and that he's just looking to keep riding the wave that he's on. And speaking of NXT Deadline, a WWE main roster star has lost their championship. The Deadline pay-per-view would see two championship matches on the night with NXT champion Ilya Dragunov overcoming Baron Corbin to keep hold of his belt. However, Dirty Dominic Mysterio didn't have the same kind of success. After Wesley was forced to step away from the ring for the foreseeable future due to injury, SmackDown star Dragon Lee would take his place in the NXT North American Championship match on the show. In the and Lee would avoid a 6-1-9 before landing a sit-out powerbomb and an acai DDT to secure the pinfall win. Despite picking up gold in the likes of Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Lucha Libre AAA and CMLL, the victory marks his first ever title win inside WWE, with it taking him less than one year to hold some gold. During his celebrations, the luchador would celebrate alongside Rey Mysterio, who was on commentary for the match, rubbing salt in the wounds of the former champion. Next up, a former WWE star has announced their first post-WWE match. Former world champion Dolph Ziggler currently finds himself as a free agent, this after he was released back in September. Prior to him becoming available to appear in a non-WWE ring on December 20th, when his non-compete clause expires, he's officially announced his first match outside of the company. In a video posted to the Lucha Libre Online X page, the show-off would call out Puerto Rican wrestling star Ray Gonzalez, who is a 21 time Universal Champion in Carlos Colon Sr.'s World Wrestling Council. In the same batches of releases as Ziggler, Mace and Mansoor of the Maximum Male Models would also be on the chopping block, although they've just made a debut that would seemingly happen before their 90-day non-compete clause expires. Last night at the Deadlock Pro Wrestling two-year anniversary event, a promotion owned by wrestling game YouTubers Tony Pizza Guy, CM Pulse and John Blood of New Legacy Inc., Mace and Mansoor would make their debuts for the promotion. The appearance feels like a good fit, with the two former wrestling models being in tune with online gaming and wrestling culture, and it's no doubt a good pickup for DPW as they continue to go from local to global. And before we continue, I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you don't mind, double check that you subscribe to the channel below, especially if you're a regular viewer of our news updates, as it would really mean a lot. As it stands, we're just over 3,000 away, so it's going to be a tough task, but I know for from the analytics that a lot of people that watch the content haven't yet subbed but do come back for more so if you're one of them I'd really appreciate you helping me out. But with that said let's move on to the next story. 
Next up, a wrestling legend has reappeared. WCW legend Bill Goldberg still technically finds himself on the free agency market as we wait to see if he'll show up again inside a wrestling ring for one final retirement run. Whilst he hasn't stepped between the ropes lately, he did show up at an NFL game last night. Prior to Sunday's game between the Atlanta Falcons and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Goldberg would step onto the gridiron to spear a man wearing a Tom Brady Bucks t-shirt before accepting a custom WWE title belt donned with the Falcons' infamous crest. This wasn't the first time that Bill represented Atlanta on the football field as he would actually play for the team from 1992 to 1994, although this was in a very different capacity to that of last night. Unfortunately for his favourite team, the Buccaneers would leave with a 25-29 victory. We now wait to see if we'll see the same spear or perhaps even a jackhammer inside the squared circle at some point in 2024. And next up, Ring of Honor are ready to honour Jay Briscoe. December 10th would mark the one year anniversary of ROH legend Jay Briscoe's last match, who would sadly pass away in January 2023. His final encounter would go down at last year's final battle, where he and his brother Mark put on one of their most famous performances of their careers, securing a win in the tag team dog collar match against FTR to win the ROH World Tag Team titles, finally adding a win to their name in the trilogy between the two duos. And at this year's final battle pay-per-view, Tony Khan would announce this weekend that Mark Briscoe will team with Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler in honour of Jay, battling the Blackpool Combat Club's John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli and Brian Danielson this coming Friday night. Unfortunately, the occasion was somewhat mild last night when the WWE on Fox account made an untimely post sharing a photo of Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits with the caption, Dem Boys, the nickname of the Briscoes. Mark Briscoe would then react to the tweet with an emotional response and he wrote, for real, this shit is hilarious. Triple H, whoever runs this account, should probably be fired for lack of knowledge, or they need the taste slapped out of their mouth for lack of reverence. Mark would then follow up with a post a little while later and said, Oh yeah, that's why I quit posting on Twitter. Just logged back on. Wow, some of y'all are wild. I just miss my brother, that's all. And I got a little in my feelings when I seen the Fox post. Triple H, you ain't gotta fire nobody. Times is tough. Love y'all. Take it like people. Whether the admin of the Fox account was intentionally disrespectful or genuinely ignorant of the timing is unclear, but inside the world of pro wrestling there will only ever be one Dem Boys, and that's the Briscoes, regardless of its existence in other realms. With that in mind, let's read through a heartfelt message from Dax Harwood of FTR, who paid homage to the dog collar match one year on, and he would say, one year ago today, we had the greatest match of our career. To me, it encapsulates everything FTR has represented. Emotion. We couldn't have achieved that without having our equals there to bring that emotion out of us. The story going into this match proves that whatever you believe, there has to be something bigger than us out there. This night, we all four sat in the locker room, no one around, bloody from head to toe, each with a tequila in our hand, talking about the end of this rivalry. How we'll never experience anything like this again. How all four of us, from now until forever would be connected and we were okay with that. How years from now, decades from now, we'll be traveling to conventions and meet and greets just to talk about this rivalry and this one match in particular. Then it all changed. The picture of Jay, the intensity on his face, a chain wrapped around my mouth, the emotion in Paul, Cash desperately doing everything in his power, even if it means losing, to save his best friend from death, while Mark is using every last ounce of energy in his body to block him. Is the greatest snapshot of my career. And finally, a former AEW champion is ready to return. In October 2022, then AEW Women's World Champion Thunder Rosa would take time from the ring to undergo back surgery, leading to her eventually being forced to relinquish her gold. Despite being teased to return on the early AEW Collision episodes, we haven't seen Rosa in the ring since last year, although she has been seen backstage at AEW shows and has also taken part as an announcer for the company's Spanish broadcasting team. Speaking with news for this week, Rosa would confirm that she is ready to return to the ring and it's simply down to management as to when she gets back to action and she would say, I'm ready whenever that call comes and my boss says it's time for you to return, I am ready. I'm super excited and cannot wait to show the world and new fans that have been supporting me all this time that I'm ready and have a lot more to give. 
There is no official date as to when we could see Thunder Rosa again, although she would be a good candidate to challenge timeless Tony Storm for the AEW Women's title at some point, a title she never lost. You could say she's the real Women's World Champion. And before you go, make sure you check out 10 Masked AEW Wrestlers Unmasked. 